my fellow Ghanaians, my economic emancipation document, part 10. As I have said earlier, we can no longer develop Ghana with political party manifestos. Therefore, as president, I will within six months assemble local and global Ghanaian expertise to draw a comprehensive seven-year national development plan to be approved by parliament for adoption. Until the national development plan has been adopted by law, my government shall initiate needed reforms in all sectors of the economy and look for funds to complete all abandoned projects by previous governments, especially housing, roads, and highways. That will invariably position us on the road to economic recovery and move Ghana away from economic slavery. In order for the spirit and letter of this progressive document to be accomplished, I ask for the overwhelming support of the people of Ghana to vote massively for me as president in election 2020. I will also encourage the people of Ghana to vote for parliamentary candidates of choice, regardless of political party affiliation, in order to end the winner-takes-all syndrome. Again, I wish to assure the people of Ghana of my willingness to forego my salary for the first two years in office as president for national development and to prove to all Ghanaians, especially the youth, that life is not all about wealth, but good name and service to society and humanity. I am therefore committed to engage all available global human resource expertise and technology to implement the needed reforms, to be able to establish and protect our economic growth from self-centered economic criminals. Two, I am committed to establish a system where no Ghanaian will wake up in the morning worrying about when, where, and how to get the day's meal. Three, I am committed to establish a system where opportunities abound and every household shall be economically self-sufficient and self-sustaining. Four, I am committed to establish a system where all state financial transactions shall be the functional part of the Accountant General's Department and consolidated funding under the executive and all other state agencies shall be abolished. Regions, districts, and towns will be set up to learn how to be financially self-sufficient with some assistance from central government. Five, I am committed to establish a society where the justice system shall no longer be a respecter of only the rich in society, but justice for all, and the human rights of every person shall always be respected and upheld under the highest democratic space. My name is Samuel Ufori Ampofo, aspiring independent presidential candidate for 2020 elections. God bless you all and make our nation great and strong. Thank you.